Welcome back to Chicago District Golfer. In previous shows, we've told you how to correctly select a driver and irons from Club Champion. Well, this time we're going behind closed doors to show you all that goes into the making of a golf club. Here we are in their state-of-the-art workshop in Northfield. This is where the clubs are built and assembled to your precise specifications. Okay, I'm weighing the head now so I can record it and know how much that I need to add weight to, if any. I'll take the shaft and go ahead and dry assemble it. Okay, we've got it marked so we know how much Let's check to see how the swing weight is. Okay, we're good there. Record that. Now, I'm gonna check the frequency or the stiffness of the golf club. We're gonna go here to the frequency analyzer. We'll read the frequency. Uh, just a little too soft or not stiff enough. So now we need to measure how much we want to tip it. If it is not the proper stiffness, we'll go ahead and tip the shaft from its the tip end, and that makes the shaft uh, stiffer. Uh, we'll go ahead and dry assemble it again, uh, check the stiffness, and if it's correct, then we'll take the shaft out and we'll put it on what we call a peering machine. The peering machine is to find the hard spot of the shaft, and every, every shaft has one. Um, the reason why it's important to have a shaft pured is because they're all built much differently than the manufacturer would assume that they are, and so we want to make sure that the shaft in the proper position pured returns the golf club to the uh, address point at impact. Now that Dennis has made the necessary modifications, he simply needs to epoxy the head to the shaft of course, a grip will be added, and voila, you have a customized club. Club Champion will even go so far as to stamp your initials onto each and every club. 